Hey, um, this is a quick little video, um, for modding the PS3, mainly like, um, LEDs and stuff like that is pretty much what this will cover, but also show you the quick, uh, disassembly and opening up of the PS3. So, um, here it is. Now, if you turn your PS3 on its side, you'll see this right here, but there will be a sticker over it. As soon as you peel that off, it voids your warranty, and it'll say void on it. So, I recommend only doing this if your warranty is already over it. So, oh yeah, use a pair of needle nose pliers, otherwise you're going to scratch up your PS3. Uh, I have my screw out right now, but normally there would be a screw that looks just like that. I'll take a picture of it, and I'll put it in the description, so you can see a really detailed one. So, that screw being in there will also make this harder to get out, but it comes out, so don't worry. You can't break it. Then slide this towards you, like down. See how it slides down? Pull that right up. And then you have this. Also, if you look carefully, this is just see through, it's semi transparent. Then I have a drill for this part because it's faster. There's a screw there, 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 and there. I think that's seven, so. Just gotta take those out. What the crap? It's hard getting this aligned and stuff. Looking at the camera at the same time. There we go. Oh, I know why it's doing that. I gotta adjust my. Uh, I had to adjust my drill real quick because the screw was too tight for it. So, if you're using a drill, make sure you have it on the highest gear because these screws will be tight. I think I have a little, oh yeah, um, I also recommend getting something like this, cause a lot of them have these on it, which is a magnet, which makes it easier to get these screws out, see, there's one, I'll set all my screws right there. I forgot to take one screw out. <laughs> Alright, now some videos, their PS3 just pops up right like that which is what a lot of them do but if you're like me and you have a 40 gig and you look I'll take a picture because it uh, you can't really see it in detail with the video but there's a little thing that you just push right there I use these or you, I guess you could use like a paper clip or something and this whole thing just folds up like this and put it somewhere where you're not going to step on it I put it by the 360 I'm fixing over there so those are my big parts. And now, um, if you look, it doesn't look very complicated. The Blu-ray drive, you can unplug the power connector right there. If I can, yeah, the light's too bright. I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's a power connector right there. You can just unplug it, and then there's a, like, I don't know what kind of cable it is. I'm guessing it's like SCSI cable. And then, so I'll just take out my Blu-ray drive real quick, just to show, sort of show you how to do that. I'm 
when you take out the ca that flat cable, make sure you fold that little, there's a little like sort of lever on top of it that you have to pull up. So make sure you get that. And you have the Blu-ray drive out. And now if you look at mine, mine is modded. It has LEDs right there. They're all tucked away. There's one there, 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 and there. I cut a little bridge also. So that way it will still shut properly. And so this is where I'm getting power right now. I'll take a picture because uh, my macro mode and video isn't very well. The If you're looking at it, so the letters would be like po pointing in, like the letters would be pointing up and you could read it perfectly. The uh, first one, I don't know what it does, but the second one is negative, which turns on while the PS3 is on. The second one, I don't know what it does, and the last one is positive. So positive, nothing, negative, nothing. So it's not very hard to follow. I'll show you my mod, but first I'm going to put my PS3 back together, so I'll show you where the screws go and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can get a good view of the whole PS3 and I can just do it without looking at the camera and stuff. Alright, for the top piece, oh wait, I forgot to put my Blu-ray drive back in, yeah, that would be bad. Alright. Just put this back in. It's a little tricky, but if you're used to modding the PSP, you'll know what it's like and it won't be too hard. Just pop this back in. Make sure that the power connector goes in there all the way and that the black one's facing left. And then also if you've modded it, make sure that all the wires are out of the way so it would shut down properly. Not shut down, but like the top would fold over. And I make sure that I tuck away all my modded wires and stuff. It's a good habit to get into. This is the top. What you have to do is f put it like this because it will sort of match up with some other parts. Sort of like hinges. Just go like that. And then just. Get ready to start screwing. Make sure that if your uh, drill is on the highest uh, gear setting, make sure that you uh, don't screw it in too tight because it could possibly harm something. I don't know what, just good precaution. Good habit to get into. So, also, if you don't know what screw goes where, just follow this and you can see. The shorter one goes in at the top left corner. So, a good idea is to get a piece of paper and draw where each uh, screw goes on the PS3. And I'll just take this, side it up. Alright. Also, if you have to screw this back in, that screw, I'll take a picture of it. Then you have to do that. I'm not doing it because I don't know where my screwdriver went for it. Then pop that back in. Then I'll just verify that it's powering correctly. And I'll show you my LED mod real quick. Just plugging in my HDMI and my audio. Alright. Alright, if the red light's on so far, it's a good thing. If it's turning on, it's also pretty great. Now, if you look, those are my LEDs. I actually don't really like the design of them right now. I plan on taking them out and putting in a nice light strip in there. And also, if you saw in the video, there's a good spot on top of this for a light strip. So, I'm planning on doing that too. And I might also put in some LEDs right there. So you can't see them. Just there and there. I'm gonna go with like the blue sort of color, getting the whole theme going. Here, I'll just my thing. Um, thanks for watching and check out my other videos, my website, and please leave a comment and a rating. Thank you.